Today in second grade math, we will be working in unit one, lesson number nine. In this lesson, we will be looking at strategies to help us add three and four add ends at one time. Let's take a look at these new strategies and see which one you like to use the best. Let's take a look at the first problem that we have. The first problem reads 2 plus 5 plus 4. Now, as a second grade mathematician, our job is to add all of those numbers up together. But we are usually only used to adding two numbers together. So the first thing that I do in every one of these problems is I look to make a 10. I know that if I can find a 10 in the problem, it will make my adding a lot easier. Now, when I look at these three numbers, do you see any of those two numbers that add up to give you 10? I don't either. So since we don't have a 10 in our problem, then what we can do is we can just pick two of the numbers. Pick the two that you know you can add the easiest. I know two and four very quickly. If you notice, I drew a little bridge between my numbers. That's what we call them in my class. This bridge shows me that I am adding two and four together. If I use my touch points, I can say four, five, six. Four plus two gives me six. Now, am I finished with my problem? No, I am not because I still need to add on the five. So I can take my six and keep adding on six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So all three of those numbers added up together gives me 11. We must remember to add all three of the numbers and not just stop when we make a bridge to add two of them. Let's practice another problem. Okay, second graders, let's look at these three numbers. Eight, plus six, plus two. Do we see two numbers that could make a 10? I think that I see two numbers that add to give me 10. I see eight and two. So let's go ahead and let's make a bridge between eight and two. If I know that eight and two gives me 10, then I can very quickly add 10 plus six. I know that gives me 16. Do you see how easy that was when I found a 10? Not every problem will have one, but we always want to look for that 10 first. Look at this next problem, five plus five plus three. Now I see a 10 right away. Do you see the 10 as well? I know that five plus five gives me 10. So now I just need to add 10 plus three more. 10, 11, 12, 13. I might also know that right in my head, but you can use a strategy like touch points or counting up if that's helpful for you. Let's practice one more example of using three add-ins. One plus six plus seven. Now, I don't see any tens in this problem, so I'm just going to pick two numbers to add together. I'm going to pick one and six. Now, if I go one up higher than six, I know I get a seven. So now I have seven plus seven. That's one of our second grade doubles, isn't it? Seven plus seven equals 14. That was pretty easy too, because if I know my doubles, I can easily add those together. 
Sometimes instead of having three add-ins, we might have four add-ins. That's when we are going to add four numbers up together. Now, when I have four add-ins like I do down here, I am going to do the same thing. The first thing I always do is look for a 10. Let's see if we have a 10. Oh, I see one. I know that nine plus one gives me a 10. That was pretty good. Now I made one bridge. Now I am able to make another bridge. Seven, eight, nine. Now I have two bridges with two different numbers. What do you think we should do with these two numbers, second grade? We should add them up together. 10 plus 9 gives me 19. So if I have four digits, I can make two different bridges, but I must remember that I still need to add my two numbers up together. Let's try one more problem with four add-ins. Seven plus six plus four plus three. The first step is we look for any tens. I think I see a 10. Seven plus three gives me 10. That's great. What about six plus four? Oh, I made an upper bridge or an up top bridge. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Oh, that also gives me 10 second grade. Now I have 10 plus 10. What does 10 plus 10 give me? 20. 10 and 10 gives me 20. Great job, second grade. Remember, you can make little bridges to help you add your numbers. Whether we have two add-ins, three add-ins, or four, you can use a great strategy to help you add these numbers.